Welcome back. Cattlemen are aware of the benefits of low-stress cattle handling, but are often unsure how to implement those techniques on their own operations. Brian Baxter takes us to one of NCBA's stockmanship and stewardship events to see how these sessions can help cattle producers of all skill levels. Just outside Fort Collins, the Ag Research Center at Colorado State University was packed for two days with cattlemen and women gathered to sharpen their cattle handling skills. The stockmanship and stewardship program is really uh, a real hands-on way of producers being able to understand the low-stress cattle handling skills uh, that they can implement on their operations and see the benefits of these as they work their cattle, as they process their cattle in their everyday lives and implement them uh, so that they can understand the operational benefits of that. NCBA has helped put together a stockmanship and stewardship regional tour. Uh, there have been five uh, throughout the country because we produce cattle differently in different parts of the, the country, but stockmanship is still a key component no matter where you are and, and how you raise cattle. Um, so we have this program. Um, we received a grant from NCBA and Beringer Ingelheim to put this on. And so today we have um, about 180 or 190 people registered to come learn about stockmanship and stewardship and um, learn more about cattle handling, care of cattle, um, and those important topics. This uh, stockmanship stewardship event is something that is very important to Beringer Ingelheim. Our company is very passionate about the well-being of animals, how we uh, care for them, how we uh, manage their health programs is very important to our company, to our customers, and to the consumers of our product. With speakers such as Colorado State's Temple Grandin, a panel of beef producers sharing their own experiences at the cow-calf and feedlot level, and the chance to ask questions during a hands-on demonstration of low-stress cattle handling methods, it's no surprise the event in Colorado was a big draw. When they come up with this idea, I thought, you know, it's time. We've been building on this with these two-hour seminars and just afternoon sessions and evening sessions, and uh, we've been building the stockmanship stewardship pyramid for a long time, and now it seems, as the big turnout here today, it seems like people are ready to come and spend a couple of days dedicating themselves to improving their stockmanship and stewardship. I'm really impressed by the attendance here today. It's sold out and it's a great event. It's a regional event. They're having one on, they had one on the East Coast and one on the West Coast coming up. So this one's right in the middle. And for producers who are busy and travel time is important and time is important, it's great to have one here where people from Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas, and all the surrounding states can get here and spend two days learning, you know, A to Z through beef production. Here at Colorado, we have producers um, from New Mexico, Wyoming, Kansas, all coming in here to Fort Collins, Colorado uh, to learn about these skills and these practices that they can implement on their operations. So these regional tours allow us to bring producers in from a wide spread area of the country um, to a single location with a lot of impactful information that they can implement on their operation. The event included small group sessions on topics designed to help producers more easily work cattle through a chute, load them onto and off of a stock trailer, and gather and sort cattle the low-stress way. All of these are practices that should work to create easier handling, better performing cattle. I think there is some economic benefit to stockmanship and stewardship and actually today we've got some speakers on our program that are talking about some economic considerations of good stockmanship and um, I'm really excited to see what they have to say but really when it comes down to it of course we're trying to get the consumer to eat our product and ensure them that what we're doing is right but it does come down to dollars and cents and if you can do things the right way you're going to save yourself money in the end. The common sense says sure if you work cattle better and they handle better they're going to breed back better, they're going to gain better and those things. But I see results. Is What I like to see is I'll go to some different places and they'll start changing things. They might do it different than I would or whatever, but you see the results. The cattle handle better, they wean better, they gain better. There's more appreciation for cattle that have been handled correctly, I think at the next level. And so they're looking for ranches that are handling their cattle a little better and embracing the stockmanship component and the stewardship component of it as well. And they're willing to pay a little more for those cattle because they know how they're going to perform. For those who attended, whether they were cow-calf producers or feedlot crew members, there was real value in the beef quality assurance training and continuing education. We just recently got into providing um, ranch-to-table beef 
and our customers are saying it was so important to them to know where their beef came from. And this adds uh, just another dimension to us as far as our reliability and the quality assurance that our customers are after to have the kind of beef that they want to serve their families. For us, we're older, but we're still learning. And so we just felt like we needed to be here. I think especially I, I like to know more about how the industry is. And like I said, for the cattle handling uh, mainly, understanding the cattle behavior uh, and the way that you posture with the cattle, I think should be one of those things I can definitely go there and apply. The message is it doesn't matter if you're large or small, that there's a certain protocol that we all need to follow in being good stewards of the land, good stewards of the livestock that we raise. And when we, when we do that, then we can call ourselves good stockmen. As valuable as the information was, producers also appreciated that this regional event with two days of hands-on learning, expert speakers, BQA training and meals only cost them $75. I made the commitment to come before I looked at the price. And I remember the moment that I saw $75. That is really inexpensive. And then when you look at the value of the meals, the food has been awesome. It's worth far more than $75 investment. It was very inexpensive for, I felt like the value to, um, for us to be here was, was amazing. They could have charged double and we still, I still felt like we got our money's worth. We work on keeping the cost to attend these uh, reasonable for producers. We know that the information is valuable and we want to reach the producers with this valuable information. Um, and so we don't want this to be a cost prohibitive event. We want this event to be something that every producer uh, can attend, whether they have five cows or whether they have 5,000 cows. Um, whether they own a feed yard of, of 150 steers or a feed yard of 50,000. We want this to be an event that brings cattlemen together to learn about the best practices for our industry. From the Stockmanship and Stewardship Regional Event in Fort Collins, Colorado, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Want a chance to check out one of these sessions for yourself? Just visit stockmanshipandstewardship.org for more information on when and where you can find an event.